Hey guys, it's YT42, and welcome back to Knuckles Chaotix. We're uh, getting close to uh, beating all the levels pretty soon. So, uh, you know, that, that that's very nice. Very, very, very nice. Uh, well, except for the level in the uh, bottom left-hand corner, which we're still on level 1-4. Like, jeez. You know, that's, that's just the random selection of this game. You know? And, uh, pick Mighty. Why not? Combi Catcher. Combi Catcher. Combi Catcher. Combi Catcher. Combi Catcher. Combi 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 Catcher. Combi 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 Catcher. Ooga, 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 Chaka, Ooga, Ooga. Anyway. So, um... Uh, I've been thinking about the past few days, and I hear it in a... Chow Garden video it's weeks and weeks and weeks from now. <gasps> We're going to the stage! Oh my god! Finally! Anyway, uh, stage called Mariner Madness. It's like you're on a ship and stuff. It's uh, it's pretty nice. It's got nice music. Anyway, um, so I'm thinking of the past few uh, days, and uh, obviously you may hear it in um, uh, what's it called the a Chow Garden recording session. Um, which I believe will be really far in the future from now, like, I'd say about episode 9, you'll hear it. Well, I'll, I'll be talking about, um, I'll be thinking, uh, what game should I let's play with Ben the next time he comes? And, uh, for the next few months, I suppose. Because, um, uh, we don't want a game that's too long, and, uh, we don't want a game that, uh, you know, takes ages and ages to complete. We don't want a really, really hard game. And, uh, we want a game that's obviously multiplayer, and we prefer we'd like to do it with, uh, 64 helper. We can get three of us going at once. It just makes it a little harder to set up, but, you know. Uh, so we were thinking, obviously we're gonna record Smash, uh, when he's here. Smash with you. And, uh, uh, maybe we'll record some Minecraft, or as we like to call it, Mintraft. Um, I don't know though, because <laughs> ever since, um, ever since like that little gap um, of recording, you know, it was like three months without a video, um, because I had like restricted time to, uh, do a lot of stuff because of personal issues, um, just personal things in general. Uh, I played a crap ton of Minecraft <laughs> during that time, um, especially in the Creations world, and I built a lot of things. I sort of turned it from the Let's Play world into my own sort of personal, just, you know, I'd do whatever I wanted. And it was always sort of that way, but, you know, I'd, I'd always record what I do. But, uh, you guys remember the new base? It's changed quite a bit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I obviously made it so I was only ever going to record Minecraft ever since the end of, um, uh, ever since the end of what was it called? Uh, I think it was episode 72. Yeah, episode 72, I said, oh, well, I didn't say it at the time, but I eventually just decided I'm only going to record Minecraft if uh, uh, Ben's over or someone's over or you know, we want to record Minecraft or say 6 for Open wants to do something with Minecraft. Because, uh, you know, there's a lot of episodes on Minecraft already and you know we don't need that many more. So, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's the thing with uh, Minecraft. And back to Amazing Arena. Live we're up to stage 5 for Amazing Arena. Um, yep, stage 5. So we're gonna see the boss at the end of it, which is... Not too tough, but a little bit tough. Um, but anyway... What was I... What was I saying? Yes, okay. So, recording Minecraft... Perhaps, although you're going to see a lot of changes in the world. It's going 
be a little, really, really different. We don't know what we're gonna do. We might not even play in the Creations world. We might play in the Chronicles world. We might play in um, that. That world's had quite a bit of changes as well. We might play on a server that we have, which we haven't really done much on. You know, whatever. We'll see what happens. We'll see if we even record Mint's Raft at all. Um, Charmy, get out of there. Thank you. <laughs> Um, but another thing, Kirby's, uh, Adventure Wii, or Kirby's Return to Dreamland, as well, I like to call it, because Kirby's Adventure Wii is just a lazy title, um, is what we'll be next, uh, Let's Playing, uh, most likely, um, as our little side Let's Play that we do together, uploaded on Saturdays, I suppose? Um, you know, because sometimes we do those, first we had, um, uh, do some Mario Bros. U, then we had uh, Metroid Prime 2 multiplayer. So uh, then it'll be Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Hopefully. I haven't actually told him about it yet. But I assume he'll agree because uh, we've played it before in the past and we, we both enjoyed it. We, we used to play it uh, quite a bit. Um, and the good thing is that it's easy because, you know, when I, do, when I do a joint Let's Play, a co op Let's Play, I like to do a nice and easy game so that way neither of us get frustrated. Um, you know, after, after having to try it over and over and over and over. You know, take it forever to beat uh, the game and stuff. And we want a quick game as well, which is why I chose Code of Strange Dreamland, why I chose it. We were thinking maybe Pikmin 2 uh, Challenge Mode or Pikmin 3 Mission Mode, but, um, you know, it takes a while to record, and doing a bunch of Pikmin stages over and over and over back to back is not. Not the most fun thing. Although we have recorded one session of Pikmin 3 Mission Mode, which... Let me check really quick. Uh, the video's still playing in the background, but... Let me check. Have we still got that recording session? I don't... I think I deleted it. Because, uh, we recorded that last year. Like, I think last year or something. Um... Let's the past episode. Just, just scroll through. Just trying to see. I don't believe we do. I do believe that I deleted it. Just look at some Metro Prime, to, Prime episodes here. And then a bunch of Mortal Kombat Armageddon logos, uh, thumbnails. For the cancelled um, you know, playthrough series. Screw that noise. <laughs> it's a lot of characters. Um, but anyway. Let me, let me, let me, just, let me just search it here. Pikmin 3. Is Pikmin 3 coming up? Pikmin 3 mission mode is a folder. There's no... Um, <laughs> there's no... I see Bingo Battle. Jeez, that must be... Yeah, 20th of October 2015. And... Nope, I've still got the thumbnails for it, but I don't have the original, um... Uh, logo. Um, let me see there. Okay, I've got the original. Um, I don't. I don't have the original um, files. I mean, the recording file. See, I deleted that. I actually put quite a bit of effort into the. Um, uh, into the thumbnails. But um, you know, maybe we'll do, we'll do it in the future. I suppose, like pretty far ahead. But anyway, back to Amazing Arena, which is still going on. Jesus. Right, okay. So, uh, coming up to the end of Amazing Arena, I do think... I haven't... I just realized for the past two episodes... This episode... I'm including this episode. Um, I haven't been talking much about the game. Like, at all. So, uh, yeah. Been mostly talking about um, uh, what's it called. Mostly just talking about you know, reporting things in general and stuff, which is fine because uh, there's only so much you can talk about with this game. So yeah, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. We hope to do that. Um, I know it's not a very long game, but I'll search up on how long to beat anyway. Anyway, here we go. Here's a boss. We have a cutscene playing before the boss. 
And that, that little noise is annoying. Anyway, we have Robotnik come out of the screen. Wah -ha -ha. Yeah, he's in a weird looking contraption thing. I do love Robotnik's sprites in this, they look really, really good. Alright, so it's got a little ring inside there or whatever. Okay, so how this boss works is, uh, obviously you've got to hit him, you've got to hit the machine. But he's going to throw these balls at you. And, uh, no, get hit. And he sends down enemies as well. So it's, it's a pretty annoying pattern to do. Um, you know, because he only comes down momentarily and these enemies, uh, are really, really annoying. <laughs> and then the ball, of course. I don't remember how many times it is, uh, that you have to hit him. Uh, before he dies. Um, okay, that's twice. I'm gonna count. Yeah, but over in the corner, if you if you uh, stay in the corner, and there goes my ring. If you stay in the corner, he can't hit you when you do the spin dash. And uh, there goes Charmy. So if I get hit now, I die. And uh, this is the death animation. Only time you're gonna see it. Damn. <laughs> so now I just cut back to the boss. Yeah, it's, it's it's not an easy boss in my opinion. So you get Charmy back, and I realise now that you're supposed to use the whole the pick up your partner mechanic, but you know I never use it. It's never really that useful, but you know, I realise now. Wait, that's what you should do. <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do. And there we go. He's dead. So. Yeah, so I'd have to uh, sacrifice a bit of hits to uh, get him. <laughs> My strategy, anyway. But that's it! That's it for Amazing Arena! Amazing Arena is done! Yes! Thank you, God. Okay. So, uh, just sort of charming all these rings. Like, hmm, I'm gonna get a ring. I'm just gonna sort of uh, swing it. And back to Evening Star. I love the song. Anyway, so yeah, that's it for Amazing Arena. So we never have to do that stage again. Pause, and oops, I forgot to edit this out. It's fine. <laughs> now you get to see my, uh, my, uh, desktop. I suppose you get to see a bit of desktop action. Nothing much, really. I still have the seven-year anniversary, uh, thumbnail. Stick it on my desktop, because screw deleting that. I still haven't. <laughs> and, um... Yep, well, it's time to uh, move on to the next level. I believe we do Mariner Madness level 2. I don't know if my memory... If, I'm, if, I'm, if, my, if my memory correctly serves me, then uh, we do that level next. You know what, I'm going to search up really quick um, how long to beat uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, because, you know, I know it's not that long, but I do want to see real quick. Kirby... Kerbus. Kirby's return to Dreamland. Okay. Uh, wait, I forgot to put in how long to beat. How long to beat. And we're back in Mariner Madness with a gorgeous sunset. Um, you know, this is probably my favourite looking stage. Uh, well, I don't know. Speed Slider looks really good, too. I don't know. Well, I, I really like the colours of the green in this. Anyway, let's see. Six and a half hours for the main story. Our recording sessions are around two hours, so I suppose that would be, um, you know, three recording sessions, maybe? No, probably for, like, four or something, which is fine. We can do, like, two recording sessions per, uh, First day. Let's see. Main plus actors, nine hours. Completion is ten hours. All styles, eight hours. Obviously, we're just going to do the main story. We're not going to do the extra modes. Uh, multiplayer, co op, poll, six. Average, eight hours. Eight and a half hours? No thanks. Jeez. Well, we'll see. There's no rushed thing right here, so, um, you know, you never know. Uh, because, like, I looked up Transformers Devastation, like, back when I was first playing through Transformers Devastation, I searched up how long to beat. 
It's like five hours. Like five hours. Jeez, that's it. And then like rush. It's like four hours. It's like okay. Well, um, and I played through it as my at my leisure. I played. I did a bunch of side missions. I did a few. I did just fine. And then I got four hours as my uh, end results. And it didn't. It felt like more than four hours. It felt like a lot longer. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. And I was just like, what? But I didn't rush through it. And then, you know, obviously, how long to beat is just the average results. It's nothing too major. It's just the average results of people. Some people got four, some people got six, I suppose. So average out to five. Some people got five. Jump vector. Oh my god, vector. <laughs> Tethering with Knuckles Chaotix. So I haven't done uh, this sort of recording style, um, you know, where I in a big recording session, split it up into episodes, then commentate over it, post, uh, then put the two together and then upload it since, I haven't done that since uh, Metroid, which is, it's almost been a year since Metroid. Anyway, Botanic Base number five, look at that beautiful location. Botanic Base's boss has, uh, it's, it's a really, it's a weird boss. Basically, your partner is always in there, so you have to be flying around uh, as your main character. You have to hit Robotnik, uh, but you may notice that sometimes he becomes like all like sparked up and stuff. He becomes electrified, so you can't hit him during that. I just did. If you do, you go flying down. Uh, your partner gets released, and you get to collect some rings. So I don't actually work to my favor there, but you know afterwards you get taken right back up. And this song isn't too bad. It's pretty good. Obviously, so, you know, the music in Knuckles Chaotix is just incredible. So yeah, you can't control this too well, you know, when um, you're in the air. You can't control it too well because, you know, your movement on the uh, D-pad doesn't, doesn't change anything. You not decide anything. Now, one thing that's really cool about this boss, though, is because, you know how if you get hit with, um without any rings you lose your partner right well your partner's always meant to be up in um, the uh, little machine right there right so uh, the thing is if you get hit and you lose your partner well he can't hit you down here Robotnik never comes down here to uh, attack you so you just sort of wait for your partner to come back oh wait he does attack you I think no never mind <laughs> anyway yep so you just get your partner back and then thing repeats so you can it's pretty hard to die this boss really hard to die this boss so uh, yeah ouch now just back down to the bottom and we wait for vector eventually what you gonna do mighty it's your last uh, appearance mighty what what you gonna do without vector oh vector's back Victor. And we attack him and he's done. So that's it for Botanic Base. Wrapping up all the levels. I think we do one more level after this though. Yeah, because there's five minutes left. Right. So I've been uh, commentating all the... All, uh, I've been... <laughs> Jesus. I've been commentating over these episodes back to back. And, uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit drained, but not too bad. Because in total, this episode's like 2 hours, 20 minutes or something. Maybe a little bit shorter, maybe longer, I don't really remember. Anyway, playing as SPU. Evening Star playing. So now we've completed those two. Uh, we've completed Botanic Base and Amazing Arena. Uh, I think Botanic Base was the last... No. Um, well, Botanic Base was one of the last stages I completed on my first playthrough. Um, Amazing Arena was the first to go figure for both. Because, I don't know, the, uh, the stage decider seems to love Amazing Arena. Choosing Amazing Arena. 
It says one and three. Why is that? We'll find out soon. Actually, in episode seven. So, uh, just wait a little bit. You'll be fine. Now up to Mariner Madness level two. Hardly ever go to Mariner Madness. Not my fault. And this stage looks gorgeous in sunset. Look at that. You can see like. I don't know if they're palm trees or they're like smokestacks in the background, but it looks really good. Like, way off in the background. It looks seriously freaking gorgeous. I love it. So, anyway, now the partner's mighty. Yay. Doesn't really make a difference from, uh. Who was our partner before? I think it was Knuckles. I believe it was Knuckles. Oh yeah, so that's the thing about Knuckles. <laughs> you think Sonic Mania thinks that uh, it had pink Knuckles first? No, this game did. I don't know why. Just sort of pink Knuckles. Knuckles. Um, I don't know. I suppose. Well, Sonic 3 and Knuckles had like a pinkish Knuckles. Um, you know, when he was evil, when he had yellow socks. But here he's good, and he's got green socks. And Sonic Mania is good, and he's got green socks. Strange, isn't it? By the way, I first watched the Sonic OVA just a few weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> the more you know, you know, it's, it's not. It's, I actually enjoy it. It's not that bad. You know, the voices are a bit annoying. But uh, I love Knuckles' fedora. I wish Knuckles had his fedora again. I wish Knuckles always had a fedora. In Sonic Forces, he should wear a fedora. Or in Mania. Because that fedora is freaking awesome. <laughs> he just he just wears it. I don't know reason. He's just got a fedora and it's awesome. I love it. Hashtag bring back Knuckles Fedora. Please, try and do it. Uh but anyway. So uh, maybe during edit, maybe during editing, I probably should have put uh, something in the sidebars, the black bars, because this game's only in standard definition. Uh, you know, it's not widescreen. Now, I'm not going to stretch this game; doesn't deserve that. Uh, I mean, that isn't stretching; it's a bad thing. Most of the time, you get used to it after a while, because uh, I have these DVDs of the X Files. And obviously, this show was made in 1992. It first started out, I believe. Yeah. Uh, it, there was no widescreen, so it didn't have widescreen. Um, so what they did instead, instead of having the uh, black bars, whatever, they stretch it out, and it looks really odd. But I got used to it eventually. It just makes uh, Scully's face look a little, you know. <laughs> Madness episode, uh, episode, uh, Mariner Madness level two. But anyway, that's it for this episode. So, uh, hey guys, it's been YT42, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Knuckles Chaotix. So, uh, see you guys then.